training camp so far. And uh, uh, I've always kind of felt like training camp is a spot where, as a team, you you start to make it as a defense and as a unit. And uh, it's going to be hard, and I want to push the skills hard. So we've had some really good situation work. Um, did it again this morning with some end of the game situations in one minute and uh, the different packages of people playing. And uh, so in training camp, it's this constant test of evaluating people, putting them in different spots, using the competition that we have to motivate the guys. We install a lot um, through the first, you know, well, whatever it is, 14 practices and challenge a lot and challenge a lot and, and uh, mentally stay on them. And I think uh, in that way, we've had a good training camp. It's been tough, it's been physical. And uh, so I've been, you know, pleased with the progress we've made. But I love up any questions uh, if you guys want to get started that way. You guys have been talking a lot about needing to create more turnovers, yeah. takeaways. Yeah. How much of that? I guess two part question is how how much of takeaways is sort of random and lucky, and what stuff have you guys done differently to try to create that this right. year versus a year ago? That's a great question. So, in terms of takeaways, sometimes we talk about like an unconscious effort. Might have been like an overthrown ball, the middle field safety gets it. He still gets the interception, but nothing really created that other than maybe an errant throw. And then there's conscious effort takeaways. It was a batted ball where you took the extra step to get your hand on it. It was, you know, against a running back, the second guy in got a rip on it. Um, so I've been keeping charting that every day, you know, and how many rip attempts do we have at the ball? And, you know, in each meeting I start, you know, with that takeaways of the day, and we talk about that. And I even had some clips. Um, that I use from you know NFL days. Here's a good example of a rip. Here's a good example of a conscious effort. Here's a middle field safety playing it this way. So uh, I guess from my standpoint, I've been practicing and talking about it as much as I can. I think the players have done a good job, you know, on the field of doing that. So it's been good competition to create takeaways. Had, but have you actually coached it differently than you did a year ago? It seems like you would have been doing all those things. Yeah, last you know what? Well. I think I just did it more and tried to do yeah. it more and. and uh, you know, you've, you've heard the saying, you get what you emphasize, you know, and uh, so I've really tried um, to hit it as hard as I can and be, I guess, as consistent as I can to say, even if it was a, you know, really good practice or one that we needed a lot of work on still, I still went back to the takeaway and said, all right, hey, we had one today, that's not enough, you know, and tried to make that emphasis. So I'm going to continue to do that in hopes to improve in that area. When you talk about ripping, is there, do you worry about the liability of missed tackles then? Well, usually we talk about that guy for the second guy in. Okay. So the first guy is the contact. It's a great question. And um, what you don't want to do is create a situation where a guy is going after a tackle and just going after the ball and not tackling. So we're a good tackling team. Uh, we work at that part hard. It's more the second guy in, or you're already on the way down, and now I'm taking a rip as we're going. Coach, it goes without saying.